Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. After the polls close at 8 p.m., we'll find out which Republican candidate for governor will challenge Mark Dayton in November. The Republican candidates are Orono businessman Scott Honor, former House Minority Leader Marty Seifert, and two local candidates, former House Speaker Kurt Zellers of Maple Grove and the GOP-endorsed candidate Jeff Johnson of Plymouth. Today, reporter Cassie Bonstrom caught up with both the Zellers and Johnson. As voters arrived at the polling sites this morning, they were faced with an unusual ballot. On it, four Republican gubernatorial candidates, each vying to be the party's nominee. Bottom line, it is unusual to see the kind of competition that we're witnessing today. Political analyst Larry Jacobs says the field is usually narrowed down after the party makes its endorsement in June, but not this time around. This year, we are seeing, I think, a sea change where we're finding uh, the Republican Party and its allies saying, no, we want to have more of a voice. The convention is too uh, narrow and the number and the types of people going there don't really reflect the full Republican Party. Each of the four candidates has spent months differentiating himself and building a support base. After voting this morning, Representative Kurt Zellers of Maple Grove spent the rest of the day reaching out to voters. I think I sent about 110 texts this morning to friends, family, coworkers, anybody. He touts his experience as House Speaker, saying his record speaks for itself. I can point to things that I've done where the other guys have to say, here's what I would do or could do if gotten elected. We passed that budget and actually I beat Governor Dayton in that budget battle. Jeff Johnson of Plymouth has the benefit of being the party's endorsed candidate. He also says he's worked hard to get the independent voters support. If we want to win as Republicans against a fairly popular incumbent, we need to have a united and energized Republican base. And I'm the only one who can come out of this primary with that. that that's kind of the point of the endorsement. But Jacob says neither experience nor an endorsement guarantees a win. It all depends on who shows up at the polls. The challenge today is not whether you have supporters, but whether you can get your supporters to actually cast the ballot. Cassie Bonstrom, 12 News. Zellers and Johnson have both raised between two and three hundred thousand dollars for their campaign. That pales in comparison to Scott Honor, who has raised more than one point one million dollars. Marty Seifert comes in fourth, having raised just under two hundred thousand dollars. 